All right, welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Charm Diamond Centers. Get custom ring building delivered in less than four weeks with the Charm Masterpiece Program and an unbeatable pricing policy. For more information, go to CharmDiamondCenters.com. For missing curfew, the man, the, the, the myth... The legend the himself, myth. Shane O'Brien. Is, are you putting a zin in right I'm now? I'm going to put a can dip in. There. I'm a little nervous with this, <laughs> this setup, product boys. placement this, this or is, what? This is a nice setup here, yeah. boys. Hey, uh, You're on the uh, casting good, couch right good, now, buddy. Good budget here, you boys got. I like it nationally. Good setup. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I've been. Right at the Royal York. Hey, yeah. NHL. I walked in. I was like, where's Nick and the boys? They're like, oh, they're back there. I tucked in. I'm like, he's got his own little press conference center. So uh, good for you, lads. Would you, would you say this is National League? This is beyond National League. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said by the valet. I thought maybe we were just doing it outside or something. I come in, you got your own production team. on the sidewalk. You got insiders waiting outside. You got Jackie Redman. I mean, this is National League, bud. A list, bud. Yeah, this A -list. Is, uh, How are you feeling, me. Toronto? It's good to be home. I'm All telling right. you, I'm loving the weather. I could have brought my leather jacket instead of my <laughs> uh, overcoat, but it's always good to be home, uh, especially having the All Star game here, right? And obviously, the line of work that we do now in media, it's, everybody's here. Um, it, it's good to be home. So, it's going to be a uh, fun two nights. We're leaving Saturday afternoon because we got to get back. We're going to the waste management. The wasted okay. management, as I uh, like to call it. Uh, uh, you get back here much, Obes, or I do. Yeah. So I got two nephews. I grew up about an hour and twenty minutes east of here in Port Hope. Uh, shout out to my two nephews, uh, Porter and Smith. They're six and three. So I come home probably three or four times a year, full uncle duty, chasing them around, and it, it makes me realize that I'm not ready for kids just yet. So <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good for me. It's good for me. But yeah. So uh, how you feeling in general from the Maple Leafs perspective? Obviously, uh, there's a lot of meat on that bone. We talk about them on a daily basis. It's been a very roller coaster season thus far. Yeah, it has been. Um, you know, honestly, to me, listen, they're a fun team to watch, right? If you got to pay your, you know, 400 bucks to go, you know, watch a game <laughs> at, at the at Scotiabank sure. Arena, they're fun to watch. I mean, what Matthews is doing is absolutely insane. Uh, I was lucky enough in Anaheim, one of my buddies has some, some really good seats down first row in the corner, and, and just watching Matthews up close and just seeing how strong he is and how good he is with the puck and, and how good takeaways and stuff like that. So uh, he's unbelievable. The way he plays every night, he, he brings it. Um, the rest of the squad, listen, their back end's thin, right? Their back end's yeah. thin. Uh, Joseph Wall's coming back. We'll see. Samsonov's mm -hmm. played well after he went back down to the jungle for a little seasoning. <laughs> the jungle will do that to you, eh, Rosie? You go down for a little seasoning. She'll get you. you eat some cold pizza. You're like, all right, here we go. I better start something some fuck. So, um, listen, they got a fun team. Um, I'm not putting my money on them to do anything in the playoffs. But, hey, maybe they'll prove us all wrong. Mm. Yeah. Would be nice. Yeah. What about Nylander? It's, I mean, he's on, like... He's on fire. He's been on Big vacation old coin for flip. Two like, weeks. do we sign him? Do we not? What does he want? He bets on himself, lights it up, signs on the dotted line, big ticket, mixed feelings. You know, most people are excited to get the guy the way he's playing. It's like, oh shit, lock this guy down. Yeah. Kind of shut it down. <laughs> yeah. He's counting all his money, right? He's like, hey, you're supposed to be on the wall there. He's like, sorry, I was counting all those 92 bananas that Literally. I got. <laughs> Listen, I mean, he's got six style. I think I think he wears his pants a little too high. Like for a guy who's got six style, I like to see him bring those pants down a little bit. But listen, he, you know, you know what, Rosie? Like when you're a player, not that we were ever in that position to where we're like, okay, this is our time. But he was playing unbelievable. He's leading the, the Leafs in scoring. Do I love his 200 foot game? No. Do I love his defensive coverage? No. But um, if you compare him to Marner, in, in my opinion, I'd rather have Nylander. Mm. Yeah, like I mean, it, we talk about this what on a daily basis. The, the, this much. this team's flawed, right? Like the and 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 oh, the worst thing about it, they're fucking doing it again. Yeah, like they're about to pay Mitch Marner this summer. I'm sure they'll find a way to bring back JT. They're doing it again, you know. Yeah, the thing about Tavares is right. He's got one more year left yeah. at 11, right? So yeah. and listen, I I love Tavares. I think you know he's a coach's dream. Obviously, he's had an unbelievable career. He does everything right. That's too much money. Now, mm -hmm. if you can get Tavares at what? What factor get? Four million or something yeah. in Nashville. Now, if you get Tavares at four or five million dollars, and the cap's going to go up. Not now. We're talking. Like mm -hmm. I do believe. Listen, I was shocked that Matthews resigned. You know, I, I yeah. had him pegged for if if Arizona was going to get a new barn, which they didn't. I thought that would be a good opportunity for him. I also thought maybe L.A. because Kopitar is about to retire. He decided to stay here. I do think they'll win one before Matthews leaves, but oh. it's going to be it's going to be near the end of it. It's yeah. not going to be anytime soon. The cap's got to go up. Uh, they got to get Tavares' 11 bananas off the books. And then they're back in. I mean, I'm still dying for a right-handed defenseman to play with, you know, more. John Klingberg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Klingberg. I went, to, I went to bat for Klingberg, and obviously that didn't yeah. work out too well. But, you know, a Drysdale, I, I know that they gave up a lot to get him in Philly, but I thought that would have been a good, a good sit for Morgan Riley. Like, yeah. they just need a top hmm. pair right-handed. You like team Tanev? I like Tanev as a PK guy, penalty killer, so playoff guy, but I don't think you're going to put him and play with Morgan. But, I mean, Luke yeah. Shen played with Morgan last year, and, and they played great in the playoffs. Yeah. But they still don't have that big – We're big Shenner guys, man. Yeah. Like, he's obviously good friends with him. Like, that – I, I would have loved for Shenner to come back, though. Yeah. You know? 
he yeah, but he, they, he yeah. got priced out of the market. Yeah, like yeah. it, it was. But what dude, it they was. signed Klingberg. Like use that money and bring Shen back. Uh-huh. That's what I don't understand. It's frustrating when they go like they're so offensively heavy, and then when they make these signings, it's like uh, you know a uh, a borderline offensive defenseman who didn't pan out. Like, yeah. do you think they're a move away, or are they th- three moves away? There are a lot of moves away. I know. <laughs> you know, and I, and I like TJ Brody. I play with Brody in Calgary. Nicest guy ever. I mean, didn't talk a whole lot. I'd be like, you know, morning Brody. Is he like, quiet? Eh, eh, eh. I'm like, <laughs> how was your night? Anyways, um, <laughs> listen, I don't think Brody, I mean, he's he doesn't hurt you, but he, I don't think he helps you. Um, Little Grin I like at times. Yeah. The kid I like is Connor Timmons, man. I don't, I don't know why this kid doesn't get more of an opportunity. I get it. I've been in the numbers game. You know, it is what it is. Once a coach, you know, labels you as a depth defenseman, that's what you're going to be. But he brings that right-handed – he can move the puck a little bit. He can skate a little bit. But um, with their back end, and I heard Rosie talking about, you know, what it takes to win. Like, you look at Vegas last year, right? I took Vegas at the start of the year to win because they're back end. They're one through six. They're so good. So yeah. good. And that's how you win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, and that's the thing is, like, people want to try to draw comparisons. Like, everybody wants to bring up Florida in this market, how they pull it together. Yeah. I don't think Paul Marner is going to come on and be like, oh, these guys are soft, right? With Kachuk's dad did last year around this time, right? He's like, this team's fucking soft. Next game they come out, they beat the Leafs, they go on this magical run. Like, I don't know about you guys i don't have that feel where the, the leafs have like a switch they can flip and it's like yeah. next thing you know they're on a crazy run here yeah they need big walt to just get pinned yeah. and come out and say something about him yeah um <laughs> no listen i and I, I think sheldon keith's a good coach i really do yeah. uh, i i think his time has, has run the course here you know i thought you know maybe a guy like craig baruby who's out there in the wings like you bring in a guy like you see what torch is doing in philly right like mm. I, I love torch like he pulled me in his office every day and ripped me but i still love the guy like i think they need someone to come in here and be like Okay, yeah, you guys are all rich. You guys got all your money. You play in Toronto. Everyone loves you, but um, you got to come in here and kind of rattle the cages, so to speak. Hmm. All right, rattle the cages this weekend as well. Oops, thanks for doing this. Buddy. Yeah, I appreciate it, boys. Thanks for having me. Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. We got long form interviews, we got clips, we got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget, you can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching.